This is the AMD R5 430. It's an Olin based GPU with 384 GCN1 cores, a 64 bit memory bus, and 2 GB of GDDR5. It can be purchased second hand for around 16 Great British Pounds, just over 20 US dollars. And this is the AMD R7 430. It's also an Oland based GPU with 384 GCM1 cores, but has a 128 bit memory bus and 2 GB of GDDR5. A little bit more expensive than the R5, it can be purchased second hand for around 18 Great British Pounds. That's under 23 US dollars. Both cards are overclockable and have been clocked to 1000 MHz on the core and 1200 MHz on the memory for this test. I forgot to update the afterburner overlay so it says R7430 for both. Do so, is it worth paying a bit more for the AMD R7430 that has a wider memory bus? Does it provide noticeably better performance? There's only one way to find out. It's a 720p game off. Round 1 Fight! R7430 wins! All oh, seven four thirty with. All oh, seven four thirty with all oh, seven. Four thirty with All seven four thirty wins. All seven. With all seven four thirty. With all seven four thirty with.
awesome for the win. Well, there we have it. The R7 430 beats the R5 430 in nearly every title. I ran the numbers and on average the R7 430 is a whopping 25% faster than the R5 430. In terms of cost, the R5 was around 16 Great British Pounds and the R7 around 18 Great British Pounds, making the R7 around 12% more expensive. But for 25% better performance, that makes the R7 430 much better value. Next time, we'll be taking a look at a card I've been itching to try for ages, the AMD Fire Pro W4100. So, I'll catch you next time, Rammers. <laughs>